Hey guys, good morning. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? Well, this is almost done. I have a little more to go in this bag over here. I'm going to have my son put on the star. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you this morning. And just to quickly tell you, I could finally, I felt comfortable bringing it up and updating you about what I am doing this coming Sunday. And so many of you commented, and even though you didn't even know what it was, gave me your good wishes. I really appreciate that. So, I have been asked, a friend of mine, her name is Yvette LeBoy. She is a health and wellness coach, um, specializing in, like, lupus and stuff. Um, she has lupus and recovered from it, and she helps others. She is a host on this podcast. That's the best way I could describe it, like a podcast. It is taped. Um, and yes, and this wonderful person that she works with, his name is Peter Steffen. And basically, uh, she's a host. And, um, you know, he wanted some people that do that do art on there and so they both uh approached me and basically i am going to be on the show this sunday so i'm gonna have a 15 minute segment which i'm freaking out in a good way about um i am a little nervous i think my nervousness is going away which is awesome um getting more excited than nervous i actually visited um two weeks ago because I told him I was nervous, so he was very sweet and basically said, you know, why don't you just come down and see what we do? So after me kind of going and seeing what the setup was, uh, I was made to feel at home, really comfortable. And yeah, so a lot of that nervousness went away. Um, but we'll see on Sunday how I feel. But um, no, I'm really excited for the opportunity. I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity I'm, I'm this is amazing um quite frankly no one's asked me to do anything like this before uh i've never been interviewed before because i never really put myself out there to be asked any questions so i will be talking about um fluid art you know but uh you know what i do in general and i guess explain a little bit about what fluid art is and uh, you know, how it could help, um, people like, you know, as far as mental wellness and stuff like that, because I believe it can. So let me get started with this, um, video with the painting today, um, because yesterday's video was incredibly long and I knew I put too much in one video, so I will explain that in a minute, but I just wanted to share my beautiful tree with you and update you on what is going on the Sunday finally um yeah because I wasn't feeling well the beginning of the week so I'm like oh boy will I even be well enough to even do this so I didn't want to say anything but I am feeling a little bit better so I'm gonna drag my butt down there regardless all right so I will be back in two seconds with this uh painting we're doing today okay all right stay tuned Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, as far as this painting is concerned and paintings like this, uh, what I'm going to do is because the video yesterday was really long and I think there was a lot too much going on in one video, um, I think what I'm going to do is if I'm going to be working on paintings like this, I'm going to put them in their own video, okay? Because it deserves its own video and then I'll do like the you know, pouring stuff or whatever else I'm doing in another video. It's like I do the vlogging. But I just want to show you real quick. That is the, now I, you could see it. Um, I added that Pearl X Pearl, um, Pearl White to this while the paint was still wet. And that's really awesome. I took all the tape off. So this is what I have so far with this painting. So I'll be working on that with you guys in another video. But today, we're going to be doing um, the Battle of the Pouring Acrylics, okay? And we're going to be battling um, Pouring Masters and the Montmartre. But before we do that, really, really quickly, um, this is the Montmartre. This is the paint I made yesterday with the pouring medium. 
that dried absolutely perfectly okay I love that you see how this dried see all that texture in there um, yeah so that that was too thick without the medium now I'm sure you could just add water and not the medium maybe a little water would have helped it as well uh, but again I, I just with this painting here I wanted to try it with nothing no water no medium no silicone okay so I like this painting but it is too thick and it did create those textures in there this dried perfectly came out really really pretty the gold is just lovely very pigmented paint I really liked them a lot okay so that's that so let's get started so I have my paints already um, ready to go this is the pouring masters and whoops and as I knock stuff over <laughs> that's the Mont Mart okay so let's bring you over here all right so these are the colors we're using um, I thought it was fair that we used um, we're gonna because I was gonna just do the Montmart with the pouring medium and then this without its pouring medium but since they both come with their own pouring mediums uh, with the Montmart I had to buy it uh, with the pouring masters as you know uh, the kit came with it so I am going to be uh, using the pouring mediums with the paint okay and we're gonna be doing two five by seven um, paintings and I think I'm just gonna do like a straight pour today all right so that's what I'm gonna do so as you know um, the colors here are light blue uh, ultra marine blue turquoise and gold and then with the uh, medium with the uh, acrylic flow medium and then over here, the Pouring Masters, we have the, uh, what is it, the Gloss Pouring Medium. We have Titanium White, Midnight Blue, Grape Jelly, also known as Purple, <laughs> and Red Hot, also known as Red. Okay, now my thoughts so far about these two, I both like them very much, okay? Both paints are... Um, as far as pigment, really, really good. Um, like I said, these companies are really uh, coming in strong. So they both are very highly pigmented. Um, now, the only thing that for me is a difference right now that I like the Pouring Masters better um, is the price. Okay, uh, the Montmart, it wasn't like incredibly expensive but I had to buy the pouring medium by itself and that was like I think it was seven dollars again it had tax free shipping they both had free shipping okay so these four four ounce bottles uh, was like 16 bucks plus the pouring medium that's you know obviously over 20 something dollars um, so it's the price and you don't get a, a lot of paint it's only four ounces okay but again I love this paint this had a whole kit the whole kit was $35 okay um, maybe 37 with tax or 36 something like that and you know it came with a 16 ounce bottle of pouring medium it came with eight eight ounce bottles of paint it also came with silicone and uh, it came with like little directions and a color wheel so as far as, as far as like the price point the pouring masters is much better and you know I think that they are both equally pigmented obviously these colors are different um, yeah but um, also, so far, um, without using any medium, the Pouring Masters came out great. So without any pouring medium, it, you know, it, would, it flowed much better. This, now it does say pouring acrylic paint. Um, it came out too thick. So I, I feel, that's my opinion, you know, I feel like you need to add just a little touch of something whether it be medium or water but either way you know both these paints are really great I mean it, it, as far as like the paint itself is is equal um, so far as far as quality you know all right 
So it's a matter of, I don't know, what I feel comes out better. And we're going to try, like I say, be fair. We'll both, I'm going to use the medium in both. Because if I don't use the medium here, that wouldn't be fair. Because it is a little thick, you know. So, alright, so let's see. And you make your own decision. Let me know what you think. You may like the Montmartre better. You may like this one better. You know, I'm just uh, sharing my opinions here. All right, so let's get started. I've talked long enough as usual, and I will see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. So, what did you think? Uh, sound off in the comments below. Let me know which paint you liked better. Um, if you like them both equally, it doesn't matter to you. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm curious. So, to be fair, they both had a lot of bubbles, okay? And I still think I see some in here. Um... And again, to be fair, I both had to hit them uh, with the torch three times, okay? Off camera, I hit them both again. Um, this one got some cells going on, which is very cool. And yeah, I think that the pouring masters, like, keeps the lines better, but... I wasn't, you see, it still has some bubbles in this one too. So they both have a lot of bubbles, okay? I guess it's just the nature of the paint. Maybe it's because they're like pre mixed. I don't know. Uh, but this one, what, oh yeah, what happened was with this one, um, I saw like a little chunky piece in there. So what I did was I tipped it off again, off camera, and actually something really cool happened. I got these cool cells going on. So I actually like that more now. So I'm happy f that there was a chunk in there. <laughs> so I was able to just like tip off a little more paint. But honestly, I love them both. Um, both of the colors are gorgeous. To be honest, you know, I think the quality of the paint is pretty equal. Um, like I said, this one keeps the line better. So if you're into more like types of pores like this like ring pores and stuff like that this is a straight pour um that's the difference but this is beautiful too so you know i'm kind of torn to which one i like more because like i said they both had bubbles but again i guess it depends on what type of like forms you're looking for you know what type of pour you're looking for if you're looking more for something like this that holds the line better i guess you would like this one better um this one you know it's still it just create a different type of uh design a different type of texture okay so we'll both see how they dry um i can't i don't want to keep on hitting it with a torch for the fourth time but i may have to uh, before it dries because I don't want all these pretty, you know, the prettiness of the painting getting ruined by bubbles. Um, but I'm going to let it settle for a little bit, okay? Um, I didn't let too much time uh, pass, just about five minutes. Um, but the good part is they're not ultra drippy, meaning like the paint didn't keep on moving around in both of them. So they, so far, they stayed the same. But we will see what happens, you know, after like an hour or so, and then I'll show you, um, you know, how they dried. Okay, so um, I don't know how many videos I'll be making over the weekend. Um, I have some stuff to do tomorrow, which is Saturday, today's Friday, and then Sunday I'll be spending most of my morning uh, psyching myself up and getting myself together for... Um, to be on that show um and the actually i forgot to tell you the name of it is life on life terms um and i'll be going to the bronx the boogie all right and um i'm putting links to uh life on life terms in the description below also i'm going to be putting in the description uh my friend yvette laboy's uh youtube channel as well all right so go check them out and then you can kind of oh and i totally forgot the um, the video you will be seeing, uh, my friend Sarah Rabinu is actually on there as well. She's being interviewed. So you will see my wonderful, beautiful friend Sarah Rabinu. Uh, she actually is a love and relationship coach, okay? And she's also an art therapist. And she's really, really good at that. I actually did some of that with her. Um, it's very interesting. All these people are so talented. Peter, um, thank you so much. Yvette, thank you so much. And if it wasn't for Sarah, I would never have met Yvette, quite frankly. Um, so thank you, Sarah, so much. I love you all. And that is it for today, guys. 
Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I'll let you know what happens Sunday. And when the video is ready to be shown, I will link it. Okay? Because it won't be for a little while. Um, so, guys, thank you so much. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to my channel. And so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.